I used to sit and paint my face like every single weekend and I want to get back into it. I lost a lot of inspiration though uh, for quite some time, but I want to see what I can get done. So here we go. So just if you are interested, I'm using Snazaroo brand to do this. Uh, I'm trying to get a real dark, dark plum. I might have to cut some black into this because this is the darkest violet purple that I got, but we'll see what happens. This is going to do a test here. Whoop. That is not dark enough. We It covers good. That's Snazaroo do. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get the face paints you want. Snazaroo is fine. It's pretty cheap and they got a lot of colors to choose from. This is not an endorsement, paid, you know, promotion or whatever. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut some black into that. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I grabbed me a plate and some Mayron black. There's really not a lot, as you can see, in this one. So if I'm mixing it with this purple, I don't care if it's gonna get all mixed up and whatnot, because this is this is pretty much a Dunyan ring uh, makeup thingy, and I'll have to order some more later on. All right, I kind of just mixed it up whoop, in here. Let's see where we're at now. Okay, that's, you know, I might be able to work with that if I can just, I'll mix it on my face. <laughs> I'll just mix it on my face, I don't care. Eh. There we go, that's actually kind of a purple charcoalish look. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep, because all of this is gonna have to get white, the face is gonna have to get white, I need a Q-tip to take out a couple lines that I need going this way. But, that's what we need right there. So, onward to the next part. Alright, so if you're ever trying to do like a lighter color on with, uh, mixed with the, like a darker color background, what a thing you can do, because a lot of the times if they mix, it's going to get muddy. And you don't want to put a light on top of it because it's going to get muddy. But what you do is you take a Q-tip and you just streak it back off. And whatever in, in the pattern that you need to be. So, if you need... Look, I'm doing a line, kind of going off of the mouth this way, so that's where I can put the white once I get to that step. But, and that's how it's not going to get muddy. Okay, now what I'm doing here, this is a white cream based from Mayron that I grabbed. Uh, I'm starting to try to get more into cream based paints rather than just stick with the, uh, the water based. Not that I don't like and appreciate the water based, however, I've noticed the cream, uh, it tends to blend better and, uh, just kind of lasts a little bit longer. A lot of the times my uh, my water-based will crack out and it kind of gets a little annoying. But so I got the white on there and I'm just going to go ahead and do that just as a leader line. But I'll also show you, I, I can take this off. But if you do it on top of, and you see that, go back in. So you see how clean the white is there, as opposed to I did it right on the nose, and you can see the purple's coming up from behind. That's why you take it off, so you can put on the lighter color, otherwise it gets muddy. I'm just patting it on for now. Like I said, this is just kind of a leader. Just kind of put it on there as a reference, and I'll come back in and make it better later. But, okay. All right, so I'm in the middle of doing the takeaways now. I'm kind of just like plotting out exactly where I want all of the white to go. So I'll be right back once I'm done. All right, now as you can see, I deleted a lot of the purple. I put in pretty much all of my main uh, white lines and all. And now I got to go back in and kind of color in some of the purple that I took away that I didn't actually need to take away. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go back to layering because this is not going to be the final product. All right, now that I'm going back in and doing touch-ups and more layering and all, what I'm going to do is I'm applying more white, and I'm going to start here, and instead of streaking it up, I'm patting it. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tappy, tappy, tappy. There we go. All the way out. And you see it's not going to... You run less of a risk of it mixing that way. All right, it's coming out a little boxy on the eyes, so I might go back in and kind of change that up a little, but with the small details I'm starting to add, it's coming in okay. I still don't know what I want to do yet with the with the neck, but I'm going to work on that. All right, we got to get we got to get some layering in here with some powder. So, 
I'm going to use the, I think it's Kaleidoscope. I grabbed it from like Walmart years ago. Well, not like years ago, but a while ago. And I'm just going to kind of go in here and yeah, I, I actually like that. Kind of get some highlights going or something. Right, it took me a little while to kind of figure out where I wanted to go with the body of it. Um, I kind of started out with a little just going up and then coming down, but I realized this is the body and I was just going to kind of go around and over and uh, just let it go, let it take its own shape. And uh, so far, this is what I've ended up with. So usually first versions of, of something, if I have an idea, it just, I, I actually put it on and it just does not work out whatsoever. But I don't hate this one. All right, I've saved the worst step for last. My ears. I hate, I hate putting paint in my ears. I don't know, it's something about the feel of it or whatever, but ugh, I hate it so much. Especially like once I take a shower and wash all this off uh, with some Dawn dish soap, I just, I have to get in there. It's like, oh, I just, I don't like. All right, I've added some just straight black, just kind of in between there, I just dabbed it on just to kind of give it a little bit more um, volume to it to, to make the dark look really dark and then as it, you know, gets to the lighter, it gets lighter.